This is a banjo frog, a very common frog species in the city of Manningham. Often you hear them croaking at night time, going bonk, 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 bonk. And you could be excused to think that you have a blues grass band playing in your backyard. Bonk, 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 bonk. They could a banjo frog because they sound like a banjo. The other name for a banjo frog is a pobblebonk frog. And of course, frogs belong to the class amphibia. And like a tree frog, banjo frogs have digging feet for burrowing beneath the soil. Oh, check out his large eyes. He's nocturnal in nature and comes out at night time. They have a glandular skin. Their glandular skin absorbs oxygen and moisture, which they can <laughs> drink through like a sponge. And that's why they're so highly susceptible to human beings pollution. Look at his eyes for sticking out of the surface of the soil, looking around for potential prey and predators. Because of their squat, fat, dumpy body, banjo frogs often get confused for toads in people's back gardens. They're not a toad. They don't have warty skin, and we don't have any naturally occurring toads in the city of Manningham. Frogs eat up all the bugs. He'd be easy prey for a kookaburra or an egret. His coloration helps him to hide in his subterranean world often found in people's back gardens, even in sand pits at kindergartens and in primary schools in the city of Manningham. They can survive the desiccating dryness of a drought wrapped up in their mucous membrane. How about that? That's an incredible adaptation. I reckon they're amazing. So be careful, don't pollute. Amphibians are highly susceptible to pollution. Make sure in your household you use biodegradable detergents and be careful what you wash down our drains in the city of Manningham. Oil detergents, paints and other chemicals that go down our local drains end up in our waterways and wetlands where our frogs live. Hey, wash your car on your lawn and don't pour chemicals or paint down the drain. If you'd like to help out frogs in the city of Manningham, make sure your cat isn't gobbling up your frogs. Don't use pesticides and herbicides in your back garden because frogs were here first. Why not contact the city of Manningham to find out ways that you can detox your home and your back garden? Let's all get involved with Sustainability Victoria's free detox your home chemical waste drop off days. Find out when your next chemical and hazardous waste drop-off day is in the city of Manningham. There is even a free permanent drop-off for paint, motor oil, batteries, e-waste and other household items at the Banyal Waste Recovery Centre. Let's help out frogs together. And why not this weekend create a frog bog in your back garden and invite frogs to call your home their home. Bonk, 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 bonk.